thank you for mm-hmm. blessing us today with the wonderful opportunity to meet oh, virtually sir. and learn yes, together um, in the awesomely exciting na ako webinar. Ako February. May your blessings mm-hmm. of wisdom and guidance be so, upon us. Ka, sir, um, All para food ma, para of sa, knowledge sa and and by our oh, source para may time pa man sa, sir, kay next week na raba. Okay lang, sir. Oh. Okay lang, sir, if mas Korean ako personally ang ginikanan sa nagatbata para ako ra, oh, oh. Pa, ma-refer na lang din sa officer para gadyon may, may kuwan ba gadyon na ang okay, sir. May now humbly commit every part of this webinar for you as we all be oh, oh, the glory. Oh, oh. Para ma-decision na na mo direct si Sir Paul Kay para mag-finalize na hindi ko. Mm-hmm. Sige, sir. Magulat ko diri sa officer of para mapanak ko ako. Sige, 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 sir. Ah, oh, sir. Ah, oh, sige, sige, sir. Ah. This time, let me share again with you this, uh, this Google Meet tips. First, find a quiet location. Second, check your headset for good sound. Hello, Third, sir. Listen for Sir, expectations. Ang follow up lang ko ba? Fourth, um, use the ba chat box for questions. Fifth, wait for your turn. And the last one, subjects. mute when not talking. And now, Night ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request the education program uh, supervisors in the different divisions to recognize the participants from way Google way Meet and from our FB Live. So let's start from... Oh. Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Norte Division, we have Hello, Chinta, Ma'am Fen, Ma'am. Hello there, fine morning everyone for Agusan del Norte Division. We are six here in the Google Meet and uh, 68 more participants hmm. are joining um, the FBI. Um, Good morning, yes, uh, okay. Thank you very yes, much, ma'am. So, Bali, may easier grado in some other today, subjects, no? not all. Uh, the one who just said present. Okay. That was so, CID Chief, Ma'am Rai for CNT about. Good morning, ma'am. Morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome. Good morning, ma'am Abao. Next, let's proceed to... Agusan del Sur Division, we uh, have Ma'am time. Ivy Naparan. Mm-hmm. Then, nag-finalize sa kasi mong LIS. Pero what if... Ah, oh, sige, sige, continue. Ma'am Ivy? Okay, let's wala na gadget, wala na wala na gadget, let's proceed to Bayugan City Division. We have Ma'am Geraldine Vargas. Mm-hmm. Ma'am? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Hello? I'm g- yes, Ma'am Glad. Hello, good morning. Uh, this is Geraldine Vargas for Bayugan City Division. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to our, of course, our very dynamic. Tulo lang, tulo, tulo. It does not generate. Uh, tulo lang, gaji siya. It does not, i- wala lang, gaji. Oo. Hindi ka dyan kung kuan tanan bali. So, it's not, hindi ka dyan kung tanan mga subjects bali na wala ka dyan grado. Amo? Am I correct? Our five participants are here in this meet. Morning and God bless everyone po and stay healthy, all of us. Okay. So in short, it's Thank not you, ano, AA. Now, in short, balisa ko na sabdan. It doesn't mean na kay tungod tunura ang kulang, hindi siya makagraduate. Am I correct? Sulig best morning, Karagas. It doesn't follow Sulig na kay tungod tunura ang kulang sa Asia, hindi siya makagraduate. Am I correct? Most of our participants are joining via the FB live streaming because I mean, a question na ako, it does it follow ba kung tuyo ang kulang ni Jana mga tuyo ang grado ni Jana kulang, for example, does it follow na hindi makagraduate ang bata? We are already three in this room. Once again, so like best morning. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ma'am Rods. Now let's proceed to 
but one city division by the way i would like also to request our viewers from our fb live mm -hmm. Pero what if, for example, if I have to say na kuan, we'll have an internal arrangement with it. And also, your role in this oh. seminar. Thank you. Now, let's proceed again to our division, our school uh, education Five. program supervisor in Butuan City, Ma'am Loida mm -hmm. Gorda. Ma'am? Love morning to everyone. This is from Butuan City Division, and we are five here with me in this virtual platform. Are the two writers, one validator and one illustrator, and of course, me. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Now let's proceed to the Badbaran City Division. Mm -hmm. We have Ma'am Doris Claro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero Mam sir, Doris. nakita nato na do late na kaayong submission okay, ni parents ng sa, ng module. Okay, let's have Island but still, we have CID si Chief ako. Lope oh Papilieras. Nakompleto ni Ja ang nahatag ni Jan mga modules na nai. Am I correct? Um. Okay. Our so, CID Chief is not around yet, ma'am. Okay, so in behalf of the CID chief, sir, who will yes, do the CID chief, I'll do the honor, ma'am. Uh, yes, so far, sir. we are two here. Uh, so far, we are two here in the Google Meet, and we have twenty-eight other participants mm -hmm. watching through FB Live. Thank you. Thank you, sir, Jessoni. Now let's proceed to Shargao Division, Ma'am Marites Pinera, ma'am. Okay. Hello, good morning, Kuan, everyone. Sir, um, so, our Shargao Division Bali. Journalism Coordinator is Bo currently oh, experiencing oh, uh, connectivity problems. So, so I am going in on Bali. her behalf. For now, there are 43 so, virtual attendees, both in FB Live mm, and Google Meet for Shargao Division. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, let's proceed to... Oh, oh. Surigao City My Division, we have Sir depression. Ricky Pedralba. Amo dyan at ilita nila mas sorry ang bata para nang tinagpulong sa ilayo. May, oo, oh, oh. di na makalugwa-lugwa. Sir Ricky? Di na tinood dyan siya na di na makalugwa-lugwa. Kay amo dyan na para nang tinagpulong. Anybody Kay, from Surigao City Division? Di na, it's not about family problem po daw. Basta lamang gadyo daw, oo. Oh, oh. Na alang jaja sa ilayom ng kita. Okay, from so, our FB Live, I could see here uh, Mam Rufa, so, Rufa Mary, Kale, uh, and Mam Janelle Escopetti from Surigao na, City Division. Di na so let's proceed uh, to Surigao okay. del Norte Division. So, we have Mam Julieta. Um, Sako paglantang ho, it's not. Okay, good morning. Um, Kailiman mo na ni Jan po lang. It doesn't fall na we cannot. We have six participants like, joining in this platform, and the rest of the participants are joining in the FB Live. It doesn't fall na siguro. Thank you so much. Oh. Mm. Pero will it be okay for you? Thank you, Ma'am okay Julian. Let's muna. proceed now to Surigao del Sur Division. We have Sir Carlos Corios. Sa immersion dang ibo balik ko. Uh, Madayo greetings to to everyone from Surigao del Sur Division. Okay, so we are actually four here in the platform, and uh, the the rest of the twenty one participants are in Facebook Live. Thank you, sir. And now, the last but certainly not the least, we have from Tandag City Division, uh, Dr. Gemma Espadero. Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. From Tandag City, I have Sige. seen how many? Kuana In lang. Um, I suggest um, um, only three. Mm -mm. I think um, I'm going to join in the FB Live. Good morning huh? from Tandag City Division. So, Naka okay man kibali on your part. Thank you, okay Ma'am Gemma. Sa At this time, I present to you, let's have first our program management team. We have Dr. Biol, Ma'am Gladys, Dr. Nono, Ma'am Maripaz Magno, Ma'am Josephine Obsinares, Ma'am Elizabeth Bautista, Kevin Hope Salvana, Rhea J. Iparigueri, Maria Consuelo Hamera, Winston Elvin, 
Sir Nerison Pitogo, Sir Jimuel Diva, okay. Your Shirley, Ma'am Irish, Sir Sarmiento, Jan Merrick Sipra, Sir Romelio Taghap, and Sir J. Mardan Bulabos. At this time, to recapulate the main Tama, Ma points of yesterday's topic, may I give the virtual floor to the President of Caraga si Secondary School Paper Advisors Association, si Sir, Sir Romelio Abal Taghap. Ah, okay. So, in short, sa practical research 2. So, balid, upat ka subjects ang sa imo mismo tanan. Live okay. from the hidden the paradise sem. of Surigao Amo. del Norte. Two subjects the in the first sem. Of beautiful sem. beaches and rock formations. Sem. The Sardines oh capital of Caraga region. Two subjects, Bali. Billy, Billy, uh, Billy subjects of Surigao del Norte. Billy, including Good with morning. you. This is new, your new Kibali, anchor, Kibali ang subjects Romelio Abaltagal, a.k.a. James Romel Abaltagal, and you are tuning in and to DXSVJ 101.1 and Tagal Tepid Pride Radio. Good morning, 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 Good Dr. Gemma B. Espadero, Education uh, Program Supervisor and LR Manager of Tendag City Division, discloses social content standards on developing self-learning kit. She puts sir, emphasis and then, that um, the Filipino learner the is the heart of all Ilano, educative oh, oh. processes, which is enshrined in oh. the Philippine Constitution that oh. permits the state to protect and sir, promote no. The right of every citizen to quality education through relevant curriculum, teaching learning processes, and quality learning resources. She also stressed out that quality learning resources should ensure the cultivation, enrichment, and dynamic evolution of the country's culture that subsequently strengthened national consciousness among learners and fortify the historical and moral fiber of being true Filipinos. She also pointed out oh, that sir, learning resources oh, should promote among learners si, the idea si that being si Filipino Flores, is a shared national identity that gives a kabuops, sense of belongingness oh, oh, and a source of knowledge and pride even as we are citizens of the world. She has built that to promote individual and oh, social amugan. identity, so, learning lang, sir, resources um, okay should la, um, depend on ethnic, uh, physical, uh, physical, physical uh, mental, mental, religious, Flores, cultural, and socioeconomic diversity of individuals, of individuals and their circumstances oh, oh. in society oh, oh. and promote sensitivity oh, oh. Okay, to and respect for the dignity and equal treatment of all. She had stressed out that though our learners are already embracing the world of media uh, and communication uh, technology, uh, appropriate digital or non-print learning resources are needed <laughs> for effective and efficient use. Hamuk, hamuk ito, thought, hamuk ito, gender sensitive yon. learning resources <laughs> also uh, consider the political, ako, economic, ako lang social, and cultural factors dito. underlying gender based sige, sige, discrimination. Sir, uh, Thus, uh, uh, avoid sige, sexist sir. language, yeah. use gender free uh, uh, and gender fair language. She pointed out yata, also man. that learning resources Ay, must not dito. prejudice Philippine products, practices, and values, Ay, and prepare, such materials sige. enhances the development of desirable values and traits, thus promotes individual and social identity, which avoid views and opinions that highlight stereotypes, cultural, moral, and so social insensitivities. For DXSPJ, Deped Kurgan Radio, this is James Romel Abel. Thank you, James Romel Abel. Jason Villena. And Paul's Visual Arts Management. For the details, again, our news correspondent, James Romel Abel. Mr. Jason Ovillena. A creative art specialist, too, discloses visual art management. He stressed out the difference of drawing and illustration. That drawing is more unhappy. It is personal, has limited commercial value, 
but can stand alone as an art. Illustration has more commercial value, more unprofessional, where it is accompanied with text. He also pointed out to create illustration that complements the text, not just for decoration or to patch up empty space. Illustrate with clarity for better understanding of the idea or topic. Spell out text that are superimposed, embedded in the illustration, just like acronyms. Create illustrations that are culture and gender sensitive. He also emphasized that is avoid stereotyping. See illustrations that suit to the learner's age, grade level, and life situations. Use line art illustration in single color. Depict national symbols and institutions with respect. Maintain high definition Hello. in illustrations morning, for color of black. If it's freehand illustration, oh, it is better to run Photoshop and be enhanced to have high definition images. Observe right balance between field and empty space as well as proportion of illustration to text. Observe proper layouting of the text and illustration such that the text is readable and does not overlap the important details of the illustration. Image should not overlap with the text and vice versa. Specify the technical details background of the illustration. Create illustrations facing towards the page scatter. He also gave okay, pointers on scanning okay and saving illustrations. He emphasized on the copyright Tapos, issues we can where photocopy, scanning of published printed illustrations, and screen captures that. frame grabs of illustrations from the internet are prohibited. He stressed okay, out uh, to create uh, illustrations uh, uh, that sustain uh, consistency uh, of style uh, throughout uh, the development uh, of the learning resource. He also gives salient points on collabs huh? and things to consider on the making of know? illustrations. For DXSPJ Tip and Turner Radio, this is James learning. Rommel Abel. Mm, Thank you, okay. James Rommel Abel. For the news recap, Dr. Gemma B. Espadero reveals social content on developing SLK. Say, Jason Villena unfolds um, visual kibali, arts management. Ilano. For DXSPJ so um, 101.1 si Depend Carga Radio, this is your news then anchor for the day. Have, uh, Rebellio Abel Tech Hub. Good morning, Carga. Huh? In your so, yes, thank you. Why is the future you. of our children in your hands? Found the answers to our questions in your hands. We found love and inspiration to our roles in your hands. We drifted safely back to school where the dreams of our children is assured. Wow, thank you very much, Sir Romel. That um I'm speechless and I just want to quote uh, some of the comments here, uh, some of the comments, especially the comment of Ma'am Gladys. Perfect! Ni puti rajud samot ang puting pato. And how about from our, um, here in our Google Meet, congrats Sir Romel, very good. Happy anniversary, Depet Caraga, Sir Taghak. Grabe Sir. Kamatayon virtual clap. Well, thank you very much, sir, for your radio broadcast way of recapitulating the highlights of yesterday's session. That's very, very impressive. And now for our last day um, activities, we will be joining by our two speakers who were also our speakers during our opening day. And they will be talking about intellectual property rights and designing SLK in SPJ. So without further ado, let us all welcome our brilliant speaker for this morning, who will be sharing about intellectual property rights. Friends, a virtual applause to Dr. Gemma B. Espadero. 
Hello, good morning. Nako, uh, I would like to personally congratulate Sir J James Romel Abal. You were totally great in recapitulating what has been uh, transpired yesterday. No, ang galing. Very creative. Well, anyway, welcome to our third day of this webinar and before anything else i would like to say good morning to our training management team headed by of course our regional director dr fetal Veru, assisted with our assistant regional director of course attorney phil and our CLMD chief, Dr. Biol, together with our SPJ coordinator in the regional level, Mam Gladys. Good morning. And of course, to my partner in progress, our regional learning resource management um, in charge, Mom. Ching Magno. I can hear somebody is talking. Malina po ba yung bosses natin? Very clear, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Kasi baka nagsasalita ako tapos hindi pala malinaw. Anyway, before I will start this very interesting topic, uh, which is the management of third-party contents or previously known as IPR, the intellectual property rights, uh, we shift from IPR to management of third party contents no kasi we do not wish to be uh, involved in ipr issues uh, kaya wag na nating ano na uh, how are we going to manage our intellectual property right issues and that is under management of third party contents all right before we will discuss it this morning me i see from the chat box who among you here uh, has this first ever experience to hear this topic? So at least I would have the idea if I am going to include the basic, the most detailed information that you need, or shall I go directly to what is the updates in the managing third party contents may i see from the chat box just type one if you are a first timer to this topic and type two if this is the second time you heard this uh, particular topic and type three if it is three times now or beyond no para alam ko i can have that guide in my mind whether I go that fast or I have to consider, of course, the majority of, of my audience. May I know? Uh, Ma'am, uh, sino ba yung ating host for this morning? Okay. Kindly give me a, uh, a figure so I can also adjust uh, how many ones, how many twos, and how many threes. Yes, po, ma'am. Um, we have one, um, one, two, uh, three seconds. Uh, three seconds. Oh, no, three minutes. Para magiging fair tayo sa ating purpose. Uh, at least we have to consider the majority, no? Uh, dapat, kasi kahapon, the social content, bago, bago talaga yung most of the, ano, bago yung social content, lalo na yung pinifocus natin doon is the 10 items of the social content standards, no? Uh, but I guess this management of, or managing the third party uh, contents or the IPR is not new to most of us here. Especially, of course, to my OMR, the managers of this region. Uh, I would like to know how many are really new to this topic. So, for that, I may have the, the decision of whether I would go faster or whether I would skip some topics or not really because of the majority of the figure. Ma'am, majority po answered one. Oh my God. 
So mm -hmm. you see, uh, I am supposed to present a different slide because I was thinking all of you has uh, have uh, enough knowledge, sufficient knowledge no? on the ITR or on managing third party content. So because of the result of this, you know, uh, survey, I guess I have to be uh, considerate enough, no? Um, thank you for answering. So at least this will serve as my guide. Okay. Okay. All right, so I will share this screen para, so pasensya tayo ha sa mga medyo experience na sa topic na to. Uh, remember, hindi lang po kayo ang nandibito. We have to consider the majority. Okay, so we will start from what is really this IPR issues all about because DepEd, uh, by the way, can you see now my presentation? <laughs> Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So I would like to, first and foremost, I would like to give credit to this presentation to Sir Jom Alda our expert in the PLR, Bureau of Learning Resources. Actually, he is a senior education programs uh, specialist managing this topic ever since the PLR has came into existence. No, Every time we had a call up in the, in the national level, he has been our speaker up to this time. And I just asked permission from him if I could use uh, the slides to the person uh, to this webinar. And he said yes. And I promised him that I will not change any slide, any a single word from it. And of course, his name is here. It's Jom Alda Learning Resource Production Division. Okay. As you can see, we will focus our perspective on uh, the deep ed locally developed uh, learning resources and how are we going to manage uh, contents because if I am not mistaken or maybe we could not we could not deny that when we develop materials we couldn't just make uh, that instant uh, original. Uh, output or whatever writings, whatever contents that we wanted to put into because we keep on finding sources, we keep on uh, getting sources for us to to be good maybe, to be sure that we are not mistaken out of the contents that we're going to provide. So uh, that is the, the reason why we have to manage carefully our contents in our materials uh, that we develop, no? Okay. So, we will discuss this time the definition and scope of intellectual property rights. This is for the beginners, no, actually. When we say intellectual property well, yeah, rights are the well, rights yeah, given to persons over the creations of their minds, well, yeah, we usually give the creator an exclusive right well, over the well, use of well, his well, her well, creation well, for a certain period of time. And that is for well, according well, to yeah. World Trade Organization. So in the world trade organization it includes different uh, aspects or factors wherein you can have that copyright or your right to own a particular creation so it's not limited to something copyright alone and related rights it also includes trademark patent utility mode industrial design geographical indication layout design of integrated circuits and trade secrets so they are managed no with copyright protection now what is copyright copyright or the right to copy that is you see in the uh, in the website you can see a circle uh with c so meaning that is copyrighted okay copyright or the right to copy is the legal protection extended to the honor of the rights in an original work that 
he or she uh, has created. That is to from the world intellectual property rights organization. So that is publication number and mo cited talaga saan galing ang statement niya. That's how we manage content. Okay. Copyright is the bundle of rights relative to the attribution of ownership, use, assignment of works of art, and remuneration of artists for their creative work. So, mamaya magbibigay tayo ng mga question para ma-emphasize natin ito mga statement na to. So, under copyright, you have two rights to be careful of uh, as an owner, as the developer of a certain product, material, whatever it is, you have moral rights and economic rights. What is moral rights? The rights that protect the integrity of the work of an artist. So, integrity of the work of an artist. Artist. Now, under moral rights, you are given the attribution and alteration prior to withhold from publication, object to prejudicial, prejudicial distortion, to object, no, hindi ka, hindi, pwede mong sabi na wag mo i-distort yung ginawa ko, wag mo dagdagan, wag mo anuhan, because that is your moral okay. right, no? Mamaya, we will differentiate what, ano ba ang kaibahan ni moral rights sa economic rights. And, well, economic rights control economic use of the work, such as to collect royalties for the work. So this is more on uh, financial aspect of a certain owner. No, how are you going to earn uh, an income? Sir, you submit na ba nato tong entry sa ho? How are you going to? Umala. You know, this is more on the economic uh, attribution. So this includes reproduction, transformation. First, public distribution, yeah. rental, and public display. Okay. Now, during our webinar, because uh, in the yeah. national um, webinar of the learning resources evaluation, I raised this question actually in one of the speakers as to reproduction. No, we are talking about reproduction because that ed, this is school year, next uh, coming school year, we'll be utilizing a centrally procured SLM. Pag sinabi natin centrally procured, it is the Department of Education para kailira kante ng po ay uh, purchase Man. a module which to are developed by private oh, no, no, no. individuals and published to by si, uh, uh, si uh, no, so, uh, 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 exercise by isa. Department uh, of Education. Uh, okay. Now, you know the allocation lists no? that uh, each learner can have whether one is uh, one or two for this uh, next uh, school year uh, and uh, some uh, to say uh, na hindi po. No? Now, uh, ang explanation po sa atin Si DepEd ay may right mag-reproduce of a certain amount or copies of the SLM from that private uh, writers or developers. Ang tanong ko, pwede ba, kasi nga nabili na yan ni DepEd, binigay na sa atin, pwede ba natin i-reproduce ang SLM na yan? No? Uh, we are talking about reproduction. Kasi nga, Department of Education na yung ano sa atin. Ang sagot mo, oh, okay, malinaw ang sagot nila na hindi. So that, why? Butangin ng ID number. Economic rights of those private publishers. Ano, private publishers. It is in the contract. Stipulated in the contract, number of copies to be distributed, oh, yeah, to be utilized oh. by the Department of Education, and that holds the economic right of those writers which are private individuals. All right. So under economic rights is transformation. First, public distribution. Yun na nga, rental. So pag ginamit na natin, first public distribution, yung SLM na yan, nakasaan sa kontrata, how many copies can them and only reproduce? No? Maybe we have another uh, what is this agreement on the second public distribution. Whom 
gagamitin pa uli natin yan in the coming next school years in 2023. So, ganun po to. No? Malinaw sa no, the business is under their economic rights as the developer, owner of that business. Another original letter of the artist that will include economic rights are the books and other writings. So, ako kasi Inire-raise ko, baka books lang ang under ng economic rights of a certain writer. Malinaw din pala dito and other writings. So kasama si SLM kasi part siya ng other writings. Right? Periodicals, lectures, addresses, letters, dramatical musical compositions, musical compositions, drawing, painting, architecture, sculpture, Ornamental designs, applied art, and a lot of illustration maps, doings, or plastic words, photographs, audiovisual words, illustrations, and advertisements, computer programs, and other literary scholarly scientific artistic works. I have like this example. Ako, nagpa-drawing, nagpa-design ako ng bahay. Now, of course, I commissioned an artist. It's, a, it's an artistic room, an architect no? that is, ano. Now, binayaran ko si architect, halimbawa, kasi kaibigan ko si architect, binayaran ko lang siya ng 20,000 kasi mo kaibigan kami. Now, itong bahay na dinesign ni architect at nung pinatayo ko na siya, nagustuhan ng aking kapatid. Okay. Gusto niya ipatayo din sa lupa niya. The same design, no? The architect. Ngayon, ang question dyan, pwede ba gamitin ng kapatid ko yung design ni architects? Kasi nga nabayaran ko sa architect in a certain amount. What probably would be your answer? Anybody from the group? Hello? Is anyone would like to answer? Kung pwede ba gamitin ang kapatid ko? No. Uy, no. Uy. Okay. Uy, ate. Ito sa table this year. Sino yung sumagot? Abarod na here. Oh, yes. No, kasi oh, I've tried that experience, Ma'am Jem. Yung sa bahay namin. Tapos ang nag-design nun, isang civil engineer. Tapos sabi na friend ko ka Can I use the plan? The same plan ba na ginamit sa pag-ano ng bahay namin? And when we asked the permission of the engineer, he said no po. Okay, kasi maano daw yung ano niya, yung license niya will be at stake kapag nag-allow siya na gamitin ng iba. Kasi nga nakapangalan lang yun na ang, ang parang patent na ba ng, ng license niya, nakapangalan na sa amin. Dito ang contract is between us at sa kanya. So pag ginamit pa ng iba, labag na daw po yun sa batas. Tama Hindi ko lang maano ang, ang technical term na ginamit niya, basta yun bawal talaga. <laughs> Opo, tama po yun. No? Kahit pa magkaibigan kayo, na ano, close oh, kayo, kasi yung ano, nabayaran mo sa tingin mo, nagbayad ka, hindi po. Tama po yan. No? So, yun yung kahalaga sa copyright. O, ikaw din ang owner, secured tayo, na yung, yung ano natin, yung gawa natin, hindi lang basta-basta yan, makukopya o magagamit ng iba without proper uh, authorization, permission, no? Okay. Actually, ma'am, with permission siya, no, may mga sa contract na pwede mo nang gamitin yung design na yan, other purpose, pwede mo yun. But then again, because of the moral rights, the dignity ng work niya, maa at stay. Kasi nga, dalawa yung rights natin na pwede protect, no? As a developer, as a developer of that output, of that work, you have have the moral and the economic rights. Yeah. Okay. What are those derived in words? Understood. Copyrighted. Protected with this law. 
However, prior approval of the government agency or office wherein the work is created shall be necessary for exploitation of such work for profit. Such agency or office may, among others, uh, impose a condition that payment of royal right. No prior approval or condition shall be required for the use of any purpose of stages, rules and regulations and speeches, lectures, sermons, addresses, and dissertations pronounced, read, or rendered in courts of justice before administrative agencies in deliberative assemblies in any meetings or public character. Ito kasi, pinahighlight ito natin yung section 176.1 in the intellectual property market. There was a case in the Supreme Court, actually, umago ito sa Supreme Court, na a certain judge was sued with copyright because of the decision he had in his one of the cases decided na siya yung judge na ginamit niya si Nadia yung particular decision sa kaso niya na siya rin ang nag-decide. Now, in that manner, nakalimutan Nakalimutan ko lang talaga yung name ng case. Of that particular judge to cite sa ano na kaso. Yun. Now, dahil doon, kasi nga kinaso talaga yun, dahil doon, lumabas ito. Na kahit pwede gamitin yung mga decided cases when a certain court will also decide of similarly the same case, tapos isa-cite niya yung particular case na decided na, pwede niyang gamitin yun as long as proper citation will be uh, strictly observed. Ayan. Works protected by copyright. Ano ba yun? So, non-copyrighted works, mga dip-ed works permission needed. Ah, bali na, ha? Dip-ed works. Hindi porkit ay galing ito sa dip-ed na exemplars, pwede pwede na natin gamitin ito sa ano natin. You still have to ask permission, no? Halimbawa, yung isang material galing sa exposition of Kabad Baransi, kanila yun, islas nila yun. Tapos, ikaw, my friend, ka doon sa Kabad Baransi, pangalan nga, taga-sandata. Ngayon, wala kang islas sa ganitong subject. Ayan, friend ka ng friend ng materials na yan. Kasi, friend mo naman talaga yung taga-kabadbaran. No, mali po yun. You still have to consult the LR supervisor so that you can ask permission because the LR now will make a letter to be signed by the division superintendent to ask permission from that particular division that their locally developed materials will be utilized by our division. So, permission needed pa rin po. No? Ganun tayo. Uh, let us uh, observe proper uh, processes. Okay. Non-copyrighted works made by government employees in the course of their regularly prescribed duties in the end. So, no permission needed, so, just acknowledge author. Made by government employees, yung mga non-copyrighted works, so, I am talking to non-copyrighted, halimbawa, 
Ay, tap si Bajati. Tap si Log na lang. Ay, Saray. Ang map na to kasi sa research mo, sa study mo, mas akma ito doon sa research local. So, pwede mong gamitin yun, but you have to cite, no? Properly acknowledge kung saan ito galing, kanino ito. Made by government employees in the course of their regularly prescribed duties in other government agencies. No permission needed, just acknowledge source and author. Permission needed from the concerned government agency if used for profit. Okay, tama po. Pag hindi sa research, uh, research mo gagamitin or hindi sa dissertation mo gagamitin, gagamitin mo sa isang material na binibenta mo, uh, you are selling something, uh, whatever is that material, uh, hindi po pwede yun. You really have to uh, ask permission of that agency that their map or their particular uh, whatever property or ownership that they have, scholarly articles, whatever it is, should uh, that you will be utilizing it in your uh, uh, particular material or output or work na uh, is involved for money making. No, dapat malinaw yan sa letter permission mo. And also, when you ask permission, i sa site natin, where are or saan natin gagamitin ang material na to, no? In asking permission. Okay. In the public domain, you know what is public domain and the the online sites or any uh, catalog materials na malinaw siya na public domain siya, meaning anybody can use it, can share it. So that is public domain in the creative commons particularly. So no permission needed as long as you acknowledge the author. All right. What about those copyrighted works? So, halimbawa, deep in works ito, copyrighted works ito, permission needed pa rin, made by authors, creators who are not government employees. For example, uh, sa deep in you, sa division office nyo, or sa district office nyo, meron kayong job order or volunteer, no? volunteer teacher, at siya yung pinadraw nyo, pina-illustrate nyo ng iyong... Uh, Ma, uh, um, illustration sa material nyo. Kasi nga, magaling itong volunteer teacher na to. Hindi naman siya uh, permanent employee ng DepEd. Volunteer nga lang siya, di ba? Or job order lang siya ng LGU. Kailangan talaga mayroon siyang ano, copyrighted ano, permission, copyright permission na siya talaga, mayroon kayong artwork agreement na inaallow niya kayo gamitin yung kanyang illustration for free. No? Malinaw yun sa agreement. Iwi-wave niya ang kanyang rights. Because at the end of the day, hindi siya pasahod ng death end. No? And he has all the rights out of that illustration. Kasi tayo, pag may ginawa tayong material, which is product of a certain training, workshop, webinar, is perheaded by the Department of Education, automatically, yung output natin will be owned by the Department of Education. Pero kung yung ating ginawang material is a product, an output of our dissertation in our professional growth, in our, you know, academic endeavor, that is your personal consumption and that is copyrighted under your right. Kasi sa'yo yun, ginastusan mo yun. Ganun po tayo dito sa ating uh, paggagawa ng output. All right. Copyrighted works made by government employees not in the course of the regularly prescribed duties in DepEd. Ayan, permission needed from the author, collective management organization, any entity owning the copyright over the work. Malinaw. Made by government employees not in the course of the regularly prescribed duties in other government agency. Permission needed from the author, collective management organization, or any entity owning the copyright over the work. Yun yung inexplain ko kanina. So copyrighted works also made by government employees not 
in the course of the regularly prescribed duties in DepEd but assigned to DepEd. Yun yung example ko, yung GO, yung uh, LGU volunteer. Permission needed from DepEd. However, kung inano niya, meron kayong agreement na gagamitin ni DepEd. So doon na kayo maghihingi this time pag gagamitin niyo sa ibang material, sa, sa DepEd na kayo maghihingi ng permission. But make sure meron nga kayong agreement ng illustrator na wini-wave niya na yung kanyang rights of that particular work. No? So doon na kayo maghihingi sa DepEd. May be government employees not in the course of their regularly prescribed duties in other government in agencies but assigned to such agencies. So permission needed from such agencies. All right. Copyrighted works also include made by government contractuals, consultants, permission needed from such contractuals and consultants. Made by government contractuals, consultants whose terms of reference or contracts provide for assignment of copyright to the government agency who hired them. So, permission needed from such agencies. Okay. Sino ba yung ating mga copyright owners? How do we uh, identify? How do... how who do we consider copyright owners? Okay. Uh, literary and artistic works, we call them author. So the, the author is the copyright owners. Works of joint ownership, that is co-authors. Meaning, hindi to solo, ha? Joint ownership, dalawa kayo ang gumawa nito. So you are co-authors. Works not part of regular duties, that is employee. Works part of re regular duties, so sino ang copyright owner? Employer. So, i-emphasize ko to, ha? Works not part of regular duties, sino ang may copyright uh, owner ng ano, ng material? It's employee. Ikaw. Yung in example ko kanina, kung itong material is product, output mo sa inyong dissertation, sa inyong uh, economic, ano, educational endeavor, you are the copyright owner, the employee. But if it is spearheaded by the Department of Education, that output is part of re your regular duties, then the copyright owner is the Department of Education. That is why in our SLM, it is clearly stated there that the copyright owner is our secretary, Briones. So, now. Commissioned works, creator. Audiovisual works, producer, director, and etc. And of course, the letter. Sino yung gumawa ng letter? Si writer. Siya yung copyright owner ng, ano, ng letter na yan. So, how we, we define author? No? Author is the natural person who has created the work. Claro. That is according to IPR Code Section 171.1. Okay, collected work is a work which has been created by two or more natural persons at the initiative and under the direction of another with the understanding that it will be disclosed by the latter under his own name and that contributing natural persons will not be identified. So that is IPR code section 171.2. Okay. Published works means works which, with the consent of the authors, are made available to the public by wire or wireless means in such a way that members of the public may access this work. So, you yung mga published works, no? Yung isa-submit natin sa mga publishing ano, online sites. Uh, there are a lot of that. Kung gusto mo uh, halimbawa, mag, uh, kasi others are using this as a way to to achieve uh, a point, a certain point in promotion, but particularly those who are working in, in universities, something like that. Uh, kasi nahanapan sila ng mga published articles talaga. Mandatory sa kanila yun. For us in depth, eh, nahanapan din natin yung ating mga applicants, particularly in master teachers, if they have uh, published articles, something like that. no. So, we will consider those uh, write-ups that you have in your school paper as published works actually so but if you have that uh, as an as a writer in your school publication uh, you can claim it as yours and you can have it in your uh, attachment for promotion all right now 
what are the protection for you no once you have uh, you have been recognized as the copyright owner of this particular published work no dito sa, sa philippines if you wanted uh, for your work to be solely ano talaga protected with copyright issues you can have we have we have i profile no you can browse in the internet their web page no uh, you can contact them they will provide you a certain parang uh, uh, what is this accreditation or something like that a registration pala of your work to be public uh, to be uh, copyright, uh, uh, solely copyrighted siya, uh, a certain amount para maprotektahan po yung mga whatever uh, works that you have, literary, artistic, or whatever. So, once it is uh, accredited and protected already, you will receive from IPFL that your work is already in the list of those copyrighted, ano na, uh, your work will have this um, protection period, no? Uh, original derivative works you have a life habang buhay ka meron kang protection uh, protected yung uh, work mo plus 50 years no post mortem now ganito po kahit wala na tayo uh, it will run through 50 years pa still yung ano mo yung copyright work uh, yung work mo na which is copyrighted is still protected no there is a protection now halimbawa yung work mo is na publish sa isang uh, what is this a private publishing company and earning money uh, still your your ears will receive royalties to that because until 50 years man kung nag ano pa yung ano mo existing pa yung trabaho mo and still in uh, nag income pa siya no works on joint authorship is equal to last life uh, ikakaunt nila yung pag namatay ka na joint authorship no plus 50 years no plus 50 years so doon mag-start yung works of joint authorship from ano so the nimos works 50 years from publication or making works of applied art you have 20 years from making bakit tinanong ko ito bakit maliit lang ito sir yung 25 years lang yung sa mga works of applied art kasi nga as time goes o nagbabago yung ating mga design so syempre within 25 years napaka obsolete na yan napaka ano na yan hindi na yan gamit something like that as we change no with technology so kaya ganun yung reason nila unlike uh, derivative works literary something like that hindi yan namamatay hindi yan nag ano the more the older your ano poetry is the more uh, it is ano may tinatawag sila the more it is conserved no kasi nga uh, you know literary works is not totally affected with the uh, ano of ano technology unlike applied arts na, na, madaling na change yan madaling affected sila as we as time goes on no? with this with this technology photo audiovisual works that is 50 years from publication or making no all right Ngayon, yung iba, ah, hindi ako matatakot kasi hawak, hawak ko ang fair use. Ah, yung iba kasi, ito yung pinanghahawakan. Pag gumawa sila ng isang material, like for example, islas or a presentation na lang, in-invite sila ng ano, ng uh, school nila or whatever na mag mag speaker mag ano present ng particular topic tapos ah kukuha na lang ako sa slide share kasi nga anyway gagamitin ko naman sa speaking engagement ko hindi naman ito ibebenta under fair use ito minsan kasi itong fair use na abuse no kaya take note tayo ha ah, mga educators ano ba si fair use allows people other than the copyright owner to copy part ha? part or in some circumstances all of a copyrighted work even where the copyright holder has not given permission or ob or objects okay ganito yan ha? that is according to fair use uh, information okay Condition of fair use. Meron tayong condition. The purpose and character of the use of copyrighted work. Number one yan. Saan mo gagamitin? 
So transformative quality. Is the new work the same as the copyrighted work? Yung kinuha mo ba na material or yung pinagkukopyahan mo ba ng material tapos ginamit mo? The same lang ba? For example, you get the slides from an internet and you downloaded it and you presented it from your school during your lap. Ngayon, hindi naman ito nila mapapansin. Pinalitan mo ng pangalan. Pangalan mo na yung sa slides. But actually, you just downloaded it. It's not under that. Hindi siya kasama sa fair use, no? Kasi binago mo. Tapos kunyari, pinalitan mo pa ng drawing. Mm. But the contents are the same. So, or have you transformed the original work using it in a new and different way? So, tingnan natin. Commercial or non-commercial, will you make money from the new work? Or is it intended for non-profit, educational, or personal purposes? Commercial uses can still be fair uses, but courts are more likely to find fair use where the use is for non-commercial purposes. Uh, it, dito kasi, iniisip natin, ay, hindi ko naman talaga ginamit for ano, commercial purposes, so hindi ako libre ako. Uh, hindi, huwag natin i-abuse yung fair use. Kasi may decided cases na po ito. Yung nakopyahan niya, in fact, ano yun ha, sa public domain yun. Kampanti siya kasi ginamit niya sa fair, uh, ang arresto niya is fair use. Ngayon, yung nakopya niya pala na portion is hindi pala yun for, ano, kapira, uh, hindi pala yun for public use. That is copyrighted talaga kasi galing din yun sa ibang source na which is copyrighted ano siya content. E, itong kumopya, hindi niya tinitingnan sa anong primary source ba yung kinopya niya or secondary source na ba yung aklat na yun or ano na ba yung tertiary ano, source na ba siya? So third party na ba talaga Dali, siya? Sir, Ayun. Sir, ikaw mama. So, careful tayo Papa? kumuha ng mga passages, ng mga selection. Kasi hindi natin alam yung selection na kinuha mo sa aklat na to ng DepEd na akala mo ay sa DepEd kasi galing. Yung passages na ginamit din sa aklat na to sa DepEd is, is not a primary source but a third party content na ito. Galing talaga sa iba ang source na yan. Okay. The nature of the copyright work. A particular use is more likely to be considered fair with Sige, the copyright um, is factual as rather than um, creating when you're fair. Matatawag natin fair. Ang so, ginamit ko yung historical events si na ganitong lugar sa Malolos or sa Barazuay um, or sa Karagay sa Malangay Mami. Hindi ko talagang kung kaya yung story sa Malangay kasi yun ang dapat na ilagay natin sa MR. Fair yun. Kasi historical events yun. Factual yun. Pero kung yung kinopia mo is just a product of o sa katinood na ang modules na hatag June 30 pa. Tapos yung kwento na yun is very good, nice, na nalo nga. Tapos kinopia mo kasi maganda, ay hindi na po pwede yun. So hindi na doon papasok sa si Sir Ilana ng deadline. Kasi ginawa talaga yun for a specific purpose. Alright. Deadline sa submission ng modules. Nga nung nagsat mo si Sir Ilana ng deadline kay Amo lagi na hapit naman ang graduation. How much of the copyright So, gi-inform nang daw ka ni Sir Ilano na mag-submit ang mga modules, di ba? Iba lang? Okay. So, ang problema ko man, kay John pa rin mga modules itong first sem, tapos second sem, nawaya ka na mahatag. Pero nahatag ni mo siya atong June 30, pa kaya ng deadline na malagi si Sir. Pero ang problema ko man, kay grabe mga kahamok lagi, amo lagi nang nag-apas sa mga maestra na nakagrado ko ng kahay. Kay graduating ba dyan sila, tapos luag-luag naman ang atong trabaho ko man, kaya pwede naman makapanaw-panaw na. So, wala yung rason na ang ginikya na dili makasubmit ng module, kay pila naman po ng pag-answer. O sa sang patinuot na pre-test sila ng post-test na daw lang. Ha? Dilitan na na. Dilitan na na. So, kaya wag tayong subject. Okay. So, sa laong ni Sir, joy ko yung pa-subject na bagsakaw. First sem. Tapos joy lima ka-subjects na walay grado sa second sem. Kaya tungod, wala ka lagi mga modules na tagpanatag. So, kung man, nag-desada mga maista na 
dili ra kan daw ka bo dili ra kan daw papagabiton pero dili man sadya ng final say gadget ng eskwelahan pero naka story si sir na um na unsa man ini siya mga ma'am and sir kun matabangan pa ba ni siya or dili kasi katuyo Pinaka-importante sa senior high school ang work immersion. Nga nung huyak man sa tama ka work immersion lang. Huyak ka ba yun? Nagsinsin ka man daw ka. May idyo man daw, may idyo daw group chat. Sige raman daw ka nagsin, di man daw ka mutingog sa kuan. Di man daw ka mutingog sa group chat ni Jo. Ano daw ka tinood? Tinood na din eh. Pero mo sin ka. Oh. Wala di ba sa mo comment? Uy, kilaya. Na di man na mapwede. Oh, tanan ni mo gadyo dili makilaya. Kaya ka mo way amang gadyo ka makakilaya na yun ng 2020 kumanat ko. Ah, na school year. Pero sa ngalan na ang atong communication kumanising aton, so mo comment gadyo ka. Pero kabalo ka na dyan i-work in my shed sa senior high school. Okay. Buwi ka kami sa pizza. Nga naman, nagkagubot ng skwelahan. Iyak pa kao. Nagkagubot ng kalibutan. Iyak pa kao. Iyak pa kao. Iyak pa kao. Ang among tagalaw. Supposedly, ang work immersion dyan o napulo ka adla kung face-to-face gadyon. Pero gilimit na naman mo into five. Na ka nag-MSQ man, gilimit na mo na duha ka adla. Siya ra sa duha ka adla, di ka makalugwa ng balay. Ano ba yung process? Kung sa may problema ng duha ka adla, bina di man makalugwa ng balay. Katago ko, Grason. Kung may problema ni Tay, ngayon nung di man makalugwa sa balay. Ha? O nung yan may gawa sa gawa sa layo? O pwedeng tingi lang. Kung may problema ni mo. Naduhara ka lang tagpangayo ng skwelahan sa imo. O. Sa pila ka, pila ka buyan na wala ka mo sa among poder. O. Pero ang tagpangayo na ganyan ng eskwilan mo, kari ka mo ng duha ka adlaw. Saro dili dyan ni Jumahatag sa amo. Swerte na ganit ka mo kaayo, pero yung work immersion, dili magandun ako, ala, painawan na kanta ka research. Makakamap ka ng research. Amo man dyan ang replacement, kung dili ka maka-work immersion, magayin na ka ng research. Hindi ka hindi mo yung mo research. Diyan, duhara ka lang ang mong tagpangayo. Igura ka magluto. Ang idyong tagluto nila, libre tanan. O ay tagastuhan. Tagastuhan dyan ang spelahan actually. Nagasto kami ng trying to mail for that. Kasi ba dyan ni Jo Tung Han? Na, amo dyan nakaproblema. Kompleto ka mong mga gamit. Tapos sila ni Jo Tung Han. Duhara ka lang ang mong tagpangayo sa idyo. At sa may alatagi kung sakto na rasong nung iya ka makatunga. na tinggrado naman ko man. Isod po na yung imong maistra, ikaw ra kay intermission ng anak. Nag-uno ka sa balay lang. Ala, tagi ko, Grasen B. Nasakto. Tawang ko si Ma'am Inesel Ho. Iyasaw din siya tagpalugwa po na eh. So, malinaw natin sa si reproduction, it doesn't matter na isang page lang, reproduction na lang, ka. mag-charge na ako ng copying. Malinaw po ha, sa ating balaod. Sa Nagsugod na kung kami immersion kay kuan pa, me. The eighth edition of Lux's dictionary defines plagiarism as the deliberate and knowing Kaya iyong gastuhan. Kaya naga ni iyong tagasuhan. Kaya iyong orang pagkari diri ah. Alam mo namang hindi sa'yo yan. Alam mo namang galing sa iba yan. Tapos pinalitan mo pa ng pangalan. Inangkin mong sa'yo. There is an intent. 
no? The, the, that lack alone is an intent, no? Mm. And there is a conscious effort Lalo to steal. Lalo masabla dugay mga motives sa gatag ma. You have the conscious mind na ang nanakabi mo talaga ito. Kasi nga, pinalitan mo na ng pangalan. Alam mo namang hindi sa'yo. Kinuha mo, inako mo. Oh. Steal another spark and pass it off as your own. No? In the matter of the charges of plagiarism, etc. against Associate Justice Mariano Cid del Castillo, you see, this is a decided case. Mm-hmm. No? Ito kasi na yung naano ko kanina, no? Kaso lang noon ng another provision sa IPR law na pwede na court o gumamit uh, yung mga court, uh, sa site nila yung mga case in deciding their own cases as long as there is proper citation of the judge and so on kung saan galing talaga yung primary source mo. Kasi this is the the point of here, the point of pleasure. So, Dito na nga. Pabalik yung Alam mong well. yung decision na yun, hindi sa'yo, pero mag-decide ka na kunyari, in-apply mo yun sa'yo, deciding on the same that day, on, on the same case. Tapos hindi niya na-decide yung proper ano, source ng case na yun. Yun. Bang. So, umabot ito sa software. Mm. That is why there is a provision again. Nagdagdag sila ng provision. No? Anyway, the Supreme Court, they have the they have the capacity. Kasi nga, sila nga yung pinaka-highest of all courts. Uh, sila na ngayon yung nag-degrade na kung ano pa yung dapat sa, 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 sa mga laws na inacted na. Tapos meron mga dapat ano yung, uh, okay. provisions or clarification to that defense. No? All right. Infringement. Okay. Ano na also oh, dalawa na yung ano natin no si copying mm-hmm. and si plagiarism. So si plagiarism is lagi natong po kuan na problema ho kay no? yung ting kuan na ting is ting graduate na ba tapos ting graduation na pod basing pod siguro na maibal man sa pod ginikan na wala ka ba lo kung may graduation or wala Now, pero gi painom dum gi ato ba yung kuan mga jun na magud kami na kamiting kaya mo pa malagi ni luguan men mo gikan sa central office na may graduation gayud na mahita mo sa mo jaw na ipakwan gayud na wa tagpa require gayud na mga bata na ipasubmit na mga modules mo work immersion Pinaka-importante sa senior high school ang work immersion. Others idea that is plagiarism. Now, ginawa mo na si plagiarism, nangupya ka na. Nilagay mo na sa material mo. Hindi mo sinayo. Iguro man magluto. O binangkal na may tagpaluto. Diyan papasok si infringement. References are not accurate. So are not complete number one. Are not accurate. O kaya naman ti isa kasi mana na nag-MNCQ ng June. Oo, nawaya kami makaunda. Nawaya kami makatapo. Oo. Not accurate yun. Kasi in that end, as we develop learning resources, we have to cite using what? The CMOS. The Sheka Guman Hall of Style. So, it should be complete. So, illustrations and drawings are not original and there is no evidence of permission. Infringement yun. Yung ginamit mo illustrations sa material mo, kinuha mo lang sa Sige. Kung kuan, papadyutihan ka for work immersion. Okay ka. Namulot, orapod kay Koraisa. Kung sa naglangay-langay man po ka. Ano siya? Under creative commons siya. Fair use siya. Something like that. Pila raman dyan. Pila raman dyan doon kaadlaw yun ang utabang. Pwede ra gani. Ang ibang gani na isa na kaadlaw kung matapos nila pagluto dyan. Kaya nga tumanggang competency ko man. Gigamay ra kan. So kung ano na itoglo ang mura kan dyan na. Gigamay na. At ito lagi sa pandemic. So, kaya siya na butang dyan. Wala dyan ka maka-chat sa imong maestra na ma'am. Laong. Kaya nga dyan po siya maka- hindi naman Kari, kari ng kuwan. At meron ka bang permission? Na sa unta man ng kuwan. Ako nang tawagan si Ma'am Flores. So, uh, kay India man dyan yung pinakadako na problema. So, na lang. Nalipod po mo sa... Try to make your... Itagsarihan mo kari si Ma'am Flores. Illustrate original work. Ino lang, kadali ang no? sa mong... Not nas- 
So, dali ang sa itong problema actually kung ni Corey ka ng duwak adlaw, moray mo tag-angutan. Different, ano, color, different, mm-hmm. ano, uh, position. No? At agad-agad ka ng problema sa inyong nanay. Ngayon, mag-ulang ng newspaper, kailangan ko na isang material, may kapatid ako, ma'am, or may pamangkin ako, magaling oh, drawing, pinadrawing ko na. Pwede rin yun. Amore, ah, Jimenak, isa rin mo na, susus ko tabang. You utilize what is available. But then again, you have to let na, amo, your pamangkin, your brother, sign the answer to the answer. Buwi-buwi ka doon kay inyong nanay. Ang gani. Sa, salamat ka, Jopi mo na nai. Ako taon wa na. Binibigyan niya ng pahintulod. Sa una ka na yung pagtindog kung wala na sila. Pareha dyan na butang. Oo. Pareha dyan. High school pa gani. College na ka sunod. Gusto po na pabalik kung taka grade 12. Are not reference. Kukuha diba? kayo ng picture. Tapos ilagay lang natin sa baba ng picture. Uh, source, black, google images. That's po. No. Mali po. Walang We have to lang. find the link. The bro. primary source of that image. Ngayon, pag nakita natin sa primary source na yan, na si picture pala, is hindi so, siya... So, Jai, dyan mga subjects na kulang-kulang. Pero, nasubmit man daw ni mga modules. Meaning, tapos sa mga gijaon nganong nganong ingaton man ang desisyon ng maestra kay tungod nagapas man lagi ta mm, so uh, i hope i hope uh, na masabtan jo ni jo kay ang ato mang graduation virtual lisod pud nang jo oy maulahi ganun po singit singit ra kan ba law ko tawag ni sa ka section ni sa ka section na jud na laong So, ang amo lang nga na is, masulbad dyan i-junk case, kung nun sa desisyon ng maestra, kayo na-talk naman ako sa Sir Ilano, sa opinion daw ang upat, mas story na nato. Pero ka ng work immersion, it's another story. Like, nagay dyan na butang dyan work immersion. Once decided case ka na, nandoon ka na sa infringement na case, that will be imprisonment of One to two to three years plus a fine ranging from fifty thousand to one hundred fifty thousand for the first offense. Kaya sabi ka makatrabaho sa imo, makatabang sa imo na na. Kaya panatuto. Nakakumit na naman ng another infringement case. Imprisonment of three years and one day to six years plus a fine ranging from 150,000 to 500,000 for the second offense. Lalaki na bagay dito na butang tapos Eh, tindog tindog siya ng pagalingan lang kay Imprisonment of 6 years Wait a minute Buhay buhay ka kay Subayo ka Di na tulawa na tungkin ang buhay To 9 years plus a fine range From 500 to 1.5 million Dapat pinitilig independently Raja on, simple raja na butang Pagkuha rin ang module Luag luag na gani ang atong Trabaho po man Sa una gaji di, di ta makalihok Hamang ka muna guya Okay na sa okay, mo kung mag-garden ka. Let her see garden na ba dila ni Sir? Amo yung mga options sa mga delika work immersion. Trabaho. Ang ano yung trabaho ra? Higura ka mag-bis-bis. Sa ara di ka makakuan dyan. This is the penalty. Penalty. Given to those uh, offense, uh, offenses, no? Uh, imprisonment of six years and one day to nine years, plus a fine ranging from 500k to 1.5 million for the third and subsequent offenses. So this is stipulated in, in IPR law, um, section 217.1. Okay. So. Tapos na tayo kay copying, plagiarism, and infringement. Now, ano na ba dito? Si copyright infringement is not equal to plagiarism. Ika magtawag siya na ma'am. Kakari ka sa office ma'am. Saan ba dyan? So si infringement malinaw na si infringement 
ito yung magpapakulong sa atin. Si Fletcherism, huh? ito yung source. Bakit Kamara sa tulo sa Jabalay? Kamara sa tulo sa Jabalay? Tingnan natin yung Basta process. Basta ipilaan ha? siya ka Without Fletcherism, we cannot But, have this in French. Ang masiguro po na. Okay? But even if you have that copying, kasi tatlo ito eh, copying, plagiarism, infringement. Naganap na dyan ng kastorya. This is the time we are going to manage how are Basta we going to manage third-party content sa copying. Paano natin ba naghanap po na siya kastorya gikan sa isyo? Kasi hindi naman tayo native speakers of English language. Naturally, we have to source out information. Diba? We have to source out information from other sources. Only that, we have to manage it well. Okay. Plagiarism is not punishable as a crime under the intellectual property socialization ba moral kawaya siguro it also amounts to copyright infringement okay so kung ano natin basically plagiarism is not punishable uh, no as a crime yung punishable as a crime is the infringement However, unless so, na dito, na dili siya, it also dili. amounts to copyright infringement. So that is Department of Justice Advisory Opinion number 0218 uh, September 2012. Oh, this was oh, the case na nga, yung sinayit ko kanina sa inyo na ginamit yung decided case sa isang, ng isang judge sa kanyang case. No? Without sa, proper situation. Sige na sa now, plagiarism is equals to copyright infringement when there is a, a situation. Plagiarism act may constitute copyright infringement if such act involves the following substantial copying of a work. Such work is copyrighted, protected. The infringer had access to such work and the author or copyright owner of such work did not give Ang amung option ni yun sa work immersion. Kung di ka maka-work immersion, pinangang tradita mo na mo ng research. This is now plagiarism is equal to copyright infringement. No? Substantial copy of a work. Kapag yung bata talaga yung heart ng kanyang work, yung pinaka-substance part, uh, such work is copyrighted and protected. Kung so, napagkopyahan natin yeah, is copyrighted and protected. Mga bata ko, lagi ni and the infringer had access to the new module. Ram, ay, 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 the infringer had access to such work uh, and okay, the author or copyright owner of such work did not give his consent to the copying. Man. Yun ang pinakamasaklap. Ipod na hilig magpanaw-panaw. So, malinaw, no? Ipod pa lang panaw po, Jejo. How are we going to be secured? Of course, we have to write him from forma of permission, copyright permission. And the DepEd and the BLR, particularly in your division, learning resource uh, management section, we have this pro forma of copyright permission. And I will present it later. No? So you have to fill it up whenever you like a particular selection. Like you like a particular articles, you like a particular word uh, from certain source and you wanted to incorporate it in your material, there's no problem. You think this, this material, this particular word, other work is work essential to, uh, to the attainment of your objectives, then you can have it as long as you seek permission. You seek your Pro forma. We appreciate you know? yung mga kilaya na close, uh, we mga close friends ni Ja. Wala pa yun ni Bao An. Plagiarism may consist in doing the following acts without proper attribution. So paano natin maano without proper attribution? Word for word copying. Cut and paste. Yan word for word talaga. Yun yung kinukya mo talaga. Ay, huh? tingin ka dito ako. Yan mo yung galing sa kapat talaga. Na Lahat sinulat mo. Uh, Igalit ka ka kila ya. Uh, Pinaka-trending, no? Kasi nga, uh, nalilimitahan tayo magpunta ng mga library. So, medyo Kasi na... Kasi ka kila ya ka mga flores. 
straightforward copying. Wala tayong masyadong uh, printed resources. But we have vast resources. Paste online. talaga na. At Why yung that and paste style, no? Hello, ma'am. Jari na kami sa office, ma'am. And combine them to produce a composite uh, uh, uh. print. Grabe, ah. Ka ah, okay. Sorry. Ha, makakaman. Jari na ka sa school? Ah, uh, okay. Jari kami sa office. Mag-wait kami, ho? Di ba sa pelig magpano-pano uh, lang? Particular page. Okay. <laughs> Ngayon, Di ba lagi na itutugutan mo pano? Hindi ka lang sinang ng COVID. Pero paano pano sa panay? So, enjoy your life? Well, you're still young? Eh, hindi mo ginawa. Kasi Pero di pa dyan pasabot na enjoy your life na pasagda na kanimi mong kagalingon. Paraphrase din yan. Hmm? Paraphrase word. Ako Tugalo ba sa panagi sa balay? Di ba ko yung ano word? Di yung di ko anime mong kagalingon sa mga concept. friends. Adapt the outline of the word or the one in which the author developed it. Yung mga kasuri sa lalong? Kunyari, kopyahin mo yung ano niya tapos nilibang mo ng konti yung outline na yan. Namuti na gani dyan mo buhok o? Ganun pa rin. Kung gabi ni Manauban, bata pa rin yung saan galing yan. Makikita pa rin yan. Alam nyo kasi, meron mga copyrighted Paano na may yung same, sir? Ang tingin natin is, uh, okay na kopyahin kasi matagal na ito. Eh, parang so, ganun uh, na ito sa internet. Kami. Ganun pa rin. You have to look so, for the private so, so, uh, okay. source. Okay. Just cite it. No? Kasi there are existing, lalo na yung yeah, mga so letter which were uh, long time ago. Kala na, basta yung pwede. Kaya ipakuan ba sa inyo si Ma'am Minesel? At wala siyang kuhan nun sa inyo. Ano, ganyan, ganyan. Still, Wala akong nabati yan sa HR. Hindi ko lang yung tira makasabay. Gabi rin ko pa simple lang. Siya na din mo dyan ma... If we will add the mute to the primary source honor. Nagalit dyan arang kahago po sa inyo mo. Kamot kita kay inyong high school pa. Kung ano parang kang mag-college ka. Ang college, buhi-buhi ka dyan na. But there are free in the websites. Kung mag-college dyan ka. Kung may imo kuan. Kung may imo ka dyan. Pangarap ka kuan. Kinabuhi. Pakalam ko sik ka. Pero kung may imo. Siyad po na yung salagyan yung imo ng nanay. Si Deb, ito po ba't sa amin ang turn it in pero nag-expire na yan. Hindi lang mo dyan. Isang po na mag-salig ka for a minute. Kaya sa mga office ha, kahit turn it in. So, hindi na namin ito magagamit, no? So, man na. Eating glass, budget tracker, budget status, so, there are a lot. And, yung ginagamit ngayon ng DepEd is small schools. Nanambok na ganit siguro. O, nanambok na ganit. You also have budget check. Depende po yan. Ano yung gamay-gamay na dyan? Mas kapante kayo, no? You can have your work subject to plagia kasi pero kung alam mo naman talaga na ako talaga ang gumawa nito try mo pa rin i ano makikita mo na in good faith tayo na ikaw ang naander ba kita naander ka pa may nauna na palang mag-ano, may nauna na palang mag-submit niya for copyright. Darim lagi si ma'am. Kumbaga, siya ang... Masi nag-ano na ka, good morning. Kahit in good faith, ikaw ang gumawa. Wala ba tayo makagawa? Because the one who submit... Dari yan na itong teacher sa work immersion. Si atong kwa na ni ma'am. As copyright owner, siya talaga yung mga... Buljag. Nag-sinsi na mo rin na nag-sinsi sa iyo mo. So, that's how we deal in this world. Alam mo, gawa ko yung mga pagpayabang. If you want to protect your own work, then you have to apply to to have it protected. Apply for IPFL so that you will solely own the rights, all the rights that this is your work. Kasi iba tayo. Sino yung nakauna makapag-publish? Okay. Kahit ikaw pa yung original author, wala po tayo magagawa. The one published is the one who has given the copyright protection. Yun ang mananagin. I guess I am done in my... Ano na agad? Sige na lang. Sige na lang. Sige na lang. Sige na lang. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, sir, Ricky. Yes, ma'am, good morning. I would just like, ma'am, to 
uh, ask you to request you to give at least um, uh, a response to this uh, dilemma that we have experienced, that we had experienced last year. During the crafting of our SLM, of course, uh, you aforementioned uh, legalities, you aforementioned requirements that uh, one of which is for us to ask permission oh, oh. from the author of the right of the original case. Now, uh, in that process, Mark, if the, the writing for the request of uh, uh, a certain kind of uh, permission coming from the, the author will take a long time. Say, for example, the, the writer is capturing uh, or getting uh, a piece of work from somebody else, has already contacted the original writer, and the, the original author uh, did not just simply give any uh, response, weak response to the request, say it will take too long. What will happen to the timeline? Is that, uh, of course, the writer has to wait. The writer has to wait. And as to when, you cannot wait. You cannot wait. You cannot wait. Make another, ano, you source another content and you ask another. Kasi hindi ko wag na umasa sa isang what, source. What, ano, if, um, what if that, ano, that source is the only, is the most appropriate one to be incorporated in the material being drafted or being drafted or being developed? Kung wala na talagang ano ma'am, talagang yun ang, yun oh. na yun. So what will happen to the material? Amo dyan pa ako na. So better to have that Listen po, nangangato na na yung mong action ba? Kaya, get waiting ba yan? Di naman kakunpuan, di naman kakun bata. May edad naman ka. Kasi ang ginagawa, it happened to us already, no? Our writers are still developing. Now, chinek mo, wala silang permission. The writers has no permission attached in that particular passage. When I check the information, it is copyrighted. So, ako lang, kasi ako nagmamadali ako na. As an LR manager, I have to take risks. So, what I did is, I source another information relative to that particular topic, to the module, swap a to the module. And I really, personally, I wrote uh, I wrote the, the copyright owner asked for permission and uh, I, I, I explained man good in the letter because you have to explain uh, what's the purpose of utilizing the material and first and foremost you have to tell the copyright owner that it's used for educational purpose public school ganyan ganyan in this type of pandemic kailangan namin magawa ganyan ganyan and make sure I assume talaga doon sa inyong performa I by the way I will share the performa later no? and Explain mo talaga doon na this material will be utilized by the public school and not for ano, commercial uh, purposes para maintindihan niya na ilagay mo din doon na in my timeline kayo para yung nakabasa naman yung copyright owner will consider kung ipapagamit ito kasi very short na ang reply yes you can use it as long as it will help the Filipino learners ganon kasi usually I wrote uh, copyright owner nasa labas ng iba uh, professors sa Mayo professors sa Florida. Uh, I, I get in touch with them. Ang ano lang, meron na mag-iba talaga, sir, na hindi nagbibigay ng permission. In fact, she replied to me na the cost of that material is blah, blah, blah. No, pa, hindi na. Hindi ko nagbili. Na you, you, you look Sige, for another source. Oh, Wag mo lang antayin kasi si atong kwan ano, ma'am? Si atong remedy ato. Okay, this is just in line, like, ma'am, of our experience, like, of course, for grade 1, grade 1, grade 3, this requires a great number of pictures. Now, ah, okay. Diba, pictures, so, okay lang sa iyo, may bilhin ako siya sa principal. Sige. Sige, bilhin siya sa ako, or you can, sir? Contacting with the original... Uh, authors, so, okay, or the creators of the pictures, not much with them, uh, not much with the uh, texts. Pero all, all at the same thing, pareho na gigi ako experience pa ma. Simply na jana butang gino tapa. In in most cases, to wait for the responses mm. from the original authors, and I bet our timeline, let's say June 30, July 30, July 30. 
will be ano will be affected but anyway with your, with your suggestion with your suggestion we will just be taking that one out and then whatever is going to be the 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 course of the time okay we will just embrace let us all just be here because for great time it's actually radio broadcasting and it will be more of that no truth okay no dang man okay to craft minus lifting sources from original work. And so they've got to make use of getting some kind of contact with the writers or with the original authors of the text or the pieces that they're going to lift and then to be incorporated in their material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the other, you know, that, that's most, um, uh, mostly uh, the same time, you know, mga, Claymores, ang ating mga hinain. Mm -hmm. However... Pero ma'am, ma'am, yes, ma'am, 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 you will just, ano, get na lang your ad, uh, pieces of advice as regards to this matter. Uh, what, could, what could be the best thing that we need to do uh, in, in such case or in that situation para address... To be safe, to be safe, huwag natin ipinit yung... Dilagyan niyong mag-israel daw. Dilagyan niyong mag-israel story. Alam naman natin na creative under creative kumun siya, public kumun siya, yung particular na content na yan. Kasi hindi identify natin yan. Kailangan ilocate natin yung mga content na yan. If it is for public kumun siya, So, kana lang yung mong decision, ma'am. So, ibilin si Diyos sa principal or sa ako. Pwede ra. O kira sa ijo. Although we will cite, mm -hmm. eventually we will cite in the references in the last page of the module, meron tayo portion to the references and we will utilize the same os. Pero isa cite pa rin natin siya, sir, doon sa page. Ako lang, sir, yan sa Charlano. Basta kay Mujuti siya today. Especially. Yes, yes, sir. Oh my, okay, rasay mo lang. Pwede na ganit Friday, Saturday, duty ka. Ma'am, which reference pattern are we going to use? Duty ka, diri as kailahan. Which referencing material are we going to use? Ima naman dyan, pagkuha ng module lang, pre-test ang post-test naman. May nakaproblema na, di man dyan kung kapoy, dyan naman ang... Diyan naman sa module tanan. Ang CMOS talaga, sir, kasi ito man ang nakalagay sa standards ni DMF. So, balik talaga dyan sa CMOS tanan. May kinibahan ngayon. Ganito po, si CMOS, ilalagay natin siya sa page ng references. Doon sa last page ng module, maglalagay kayo doon ng CMOS style. How we cite our source. However, on the page where the passage, where the selection, where the illustration, Basya mo lagi ni nasag sa panon po dal mga friends ba na laong po siya. Amo na di na na magsuristoria. So kami magajust sa iya. Jangan pay mo modul mam. Tengen. Kau ni mau modul ni mo? Di mana hati dah mesti ada mga modul sa first sem sa second sem. Tengen. Kau ni mau modul sa working mission kan mam? Pacari lano. So after that, um. Oh. Tapos jadi ka tomorrow diri ya. So jai mo kuman adlaw na si kaso ni tong work mission na modul. Two modules ato, di ba? Okay. Were you able to have that emphasize, ma'am? So, musat kita daan lang. During your talk, were you able to have that emphasize, ma'am? Sige, itong deadline, ma'am. Okay, sabi, timog ba? Even some kind of time. Modul. So, hama ni mo ka on, kan? Kaila, no? Kuha ni mo ko, man. Oo. Ano lang? Tapos duty ka sa ako or diri ka sa office by tomorrow. So, natukulad sa MPS content doon sa incentive. Okay. Para malinaw tayo ha. So, klara na kita. Thank you ma'am. Thank you ma'am. So, LR evaluation. Sige. So, klaro. Bili na name mo number. Evaluating whether your references are cited using the same word. Okay. Pagkuhan ni Papel Dira ito. Okay. Kulong, buhay-buhay kay Jud Long kay 
So, gadget pagpapate-pate siya mong kinabuhi kay Karamba siya isa. So, yung mga mga anak ay laing soon. Yes. Is being or are being cited. Bas, hindi po di daya-daya ako. Natagi po ng trabaho sa balay. In our webinar, I raised this question in the English group. Kasi nga, we had an experience with Bangladesh. Kaya kayo manawag. Nalit nila yung module dito kasi pinapasahin nila ng MMA. So, okay na sa iyo. Sabot ka dahil. It was... Ano'y trabaho sa sila na may mga pasugo? Kaya na-raise ko ito na query during our national webinar. So malinaw na Ryan. na pag-passages na nag-text uh, na post na tomorrow we will have to be able to be able to be on the same page word na po na 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 and that is the word of the content evaluator to check references whether it is properly cited. Oh, oh. Ah, so ah, 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 Text-text kita ho, dili mag-huyo-huyo ho. The references part, the last part of the SLK, whether all the contents are properly cited in the Chicago Manual of Style. Nagde-difference lang sila sa pag-ano na mga pigination at saka sa sino ang makukuna. For name ba or name ba. Or kung ano naman yung title ng selection or title ng book. Something like that. But as I have said and I shared, uh, Ma'am Cheng Magno shared to us the site this for me that oh, that particular site really helped us LR supervisors to help us citing sources in accordance with the LR standard. No? And that was a great help from Ma'am Ching Mag. Thank you for me. It was a great help from Ma'am Ching Mag. Thank you for me. 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 Okay, so yes. Ah, by the way, ah, may ida dag dag pa na because as some of you will use YouTube or what is this link in your learning material? You just need to subscribe. Ah, if you need to create, then you are alam kung saan yung YouTube ano videos or kung ano yung tatanan nila, ano yung iasis nila, ano Nila, Hi, sir. Good morning, sir. Please check that link that you provide whether it was a reblog. Sa YouTube ba tayo, sir? Ito. Kaya lagi na mo, Jyoti, si Milo. Oo. Ayan, si Jacoman. Ay, magdakot lagi daw. Usahay, waya, usahay. Mr. Lili kong misis. Mr. It was just to be blocked by that particular YouTube account. No? Kasi pag Re-blog niya lang po yan, hindi niyo pwedeng i-share ang link. Ha? Because the copyright owner is not that person who re-blog the link. Hey, okay. Oh, okay. Maglibog lagi ko dyan ang kabarubiyas ng Diegas. Sa Diegas, wala dyan po tutun ba ho? Owner, original owner. So, let us be responsible in sharing the link, particularly the oh. link. You know? Klaro na to. Para di na magbibug. Whatever links that we will provide, make sure you yourself as a developer, as a content evaluator, kasi wrong ito ni content evaluator, has validated and evaluated whether the link is a primary source, a standard resource, or a third-party content. Okay? So we will not allow having that link be shared unless the primary source 
Any, I would like to share with you a sample pro forma of copyright permission. Would you like to have it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because uh, I guess all LR offices have this actually pro forma. Mm -hmm. Ano ko na lang ito kasi parang hindi ko makita. Wait. Mahalaga din kasi ito sa inyo. Ayan. Malinaw ba? Kita ba? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Forma okay, communication, seeking permission to copy. Itong form na to, dapat i-attach ito ni developer, writer, as she submits the material, the raw file, the, the alpha copy of the material to the LR. Okay. Kasi hanapin ka na tayo sa LR. Uh, lalo na kung meron sure, na yung third party content sa material, which I believe most of the materials have third party content. Bagal ka mura bagal. Kamura pa ganyan yung nag-meeting, sir. Ang discussion ko talaga dito is the rest of copyright owner, ang primary source, and the rest of copyright owner. Okay, you can have this. Ang may nag-meeting? Subject to the rest of copyright permission. There is the data. So that's the name of the copyright owner. We are writing to ask permission of the data to use to specify the particular content. We focus on the particular content, the particular subject, or a particular book saan galing ito sa site nyo na kaagad para dito pa lang makikita na ng LR evaluator na itong content na to is a third party and you have the permission okay the said contents will be essential in attaining the objectives of the learning resource title blah 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 for use by public school learners and teachers in the Philippines the following are the limitation of the copy so dito huwag mo itong kumpiyahin the following sabihin mo naman I am I believe I am aware of my blah-blah-blah permission. Ito na dito kasi parang personal na ito eh. Sure, salamat siya. So, let me know yung nakakakumulity. I am aware of the following. You are the rightful owner and you will be attributed properly. Learning resources produced is purely educational and non-commercial. Copy contents will not violate your moral rights and the rightful and you blah, blah, blah. Copy is only for the specified learning resources. Copyright remains will the copyright remains with their rightful owners. Okay. Please complete and return the conformist slip at your earliest convenience. Thank you very much. Sincerely, your name, position, and contact information. Provide your contact information. And of course, you, you place a space where they can write your signature meaning be conformed to your permission. Asking that and they are. Uh, permitting you to copy the signature. This form, you have it in your LRMS. You can ask this in your LRMS. Okay. So, I am done with IPR, uh, Managing the Party Content. So, uh, Sige na, sige. Sige na, sige. Sige na, sige. Sige na, sige. You will have it because Rika, I believe, has already uh, uh, clarified with the issue that he was raising a while ago as to what um, Gemma. And before we uh, before we will entertain some questions for mom, let's have first a 10 minute health break for I just thought it would be okay. Okay. And then um, for the participants, uh, please also prepare your takeaways and questions for our resource program. Thank you. Thank you. So you have 10 minutes to, to move forward. Whatever uh, packages that you have in your mind.
Registration na malagi ni. Mo na siya. Our attendance. Dili na ako ni registration sir. Nadia, nakasunod dito. Bes ari na. Pero nagtaon dan. Di gyud na ako mo na sir. Kada na. Sir. Pwede pa kisura ni. Atan SLK. Para sa newlyer intern. Kaya na ko ang support sa mga parents kay Ate. John, sino ang mga gitara o karaan? Which is a word for na rin. Ang ato ang mga magasakay na ito ang parents kay Juan. Ay, ang katapwa na ito sa tanang na parents na makasakot sa Juan. Kasi imukun nila ba ang Juan ba nga resipo ka? 500 kayo. Bayran na mo. Pero yung tira ba na gini? Yan na ba? Kung ano ang... Okay, di mo truma na sa kuwan dito sa PTA, pag di mo na PTA, sinadyad ko na din naman na mahuwang mga ano. Kung cellphone ba gan ka, sir? Kaya, sabi ko ang asa na si Kuwan. Balik naman ba gan ang cellphone kay 
Which of the following is not an example of prior knowledge?
Hello, um, welcome back to our session for this morning. And for our FB Live viewers, uh, you are still watching the 30-day original webinar on the development of SLK on campus journalism. But before the Q&A, um, I will be reading first the takeaways from our participants. So I am encouraging all the participants from our FB Live streaming and also here in our Google Meet to um, comment your insights uh, regarding the topic for this I can only read here some of the questions. But before the questions, let's have first some insights. Sir, ako hindi ko rin ako mag-issue, ha? <laughs> How about um, here from our group? It's, uh, maybe in our FB Live, since there's um, a delay, so maybe they are still typing their takeaways. How about from there, from our participants here in our group? Kindly type all your takeaways um, in our chat. Thank you. Wait, Okay, okay, so um, we're waiting for some of the insights from our participants. I will just throw this question. Kadalasan sa kaya maganaglibog bang kita sa trabaho ni Sir Jonathan Mabal. Ang instruction lang nga din, sir. If you cited a plot a plagiarized work without your knowledge, are you still liable for the same offense? Wait, how is your account, is it, sir? I'm Gemma. Ito tao sa naman mag-open ng account, di ba? Let's wait siguro mag-lend me kay Ma'am Gemma, I guess. Ah, ba siya ko siya? Ah, ito na. Um, I will just read some insights um, from Sir Edgar Gorgonio. I love the clarity of the discussions in light and in much. Ito malang mong account. How oh, about from our participants in our FB Live stream? Um, well, I will just read some of our colleagues from Agusan del Sur. We have Ma Maria Leonora the Marin. We also have from Shargal, Ma M. P. Soratos, Sir Marco Tran. We also have Ma Marinisa Manasha Norgan. Thank you so much for your presence this morning. And also we have Ma'am Denise Jane Layson. I think, Ma'am, the, your, the, your question po was already answered by Ma'am Gemma uh, about the copy of a letter. Okay, I think Ma'am Gemma is already here. Ma'am, um, uh, there's a question good, um, from Sir Jonathan po. Um, if you cited a uh, plagiarized work without your knowledge, are you still liable for the same offense? Ano po yung patat if you cited a plagiarized work? Yes po, without your knowledge. Are you still liable? Are you still liable for the same offense? Meaning, hindi mo alam na plagiarized and writing yung material, hindi mo alam. Yes, mo ma. Kaya mo pa rin tayo because ignorance of the law. Did you bring it down? Okay. Okay. Thank you, po ma. Another question po from um from Mam Zulina Nilo. Good morning, ma. Is it possible for Deputy Rama to create a committee that 
okay. 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 Okay.
Uh, but from the other, uh, can they also include the name of your division? So that your division also will be recognized. Thank you. Yeah, man, we might joke. Okay, from Sir Edgar Gurgonio, I love the clarity of MEMS discussions. I like that you watch. Um, who else? Uh, uh, from Sir Raimondo Jimena. Um, I think Sir Raimondo is. Um, is it a question? Mm. What assistance? Okay, so sir, later, is, later because Mom Gemma is still discussing. I will just throw this question. Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Again, I am encouraging all of you to write all of your comments, your thoughts, your insights about Mom Gemma's office. We are still waiting for her. Wala ba ito yung logo, ha? Kaya yung logo. Kaya yung logo. Logo? Logo? Zarapan natin yung logo, ha? Wala pa si Mom Gemma. Sa taas. Um, according to Ma'am Jennifer Estelle Fraga, Ma'am Gemma, you truly are the pride of Tandag City Division. Congratulations. So I hope Ma'am Gemma could um, review all of the comments here uh, in our chat box. <laughs> Um, from uh, from Sir Richel Pecatoste. I don't know if he or she, <laughs> Richel Pecatoste. Indeed, there were so much that we should be cautious of as writers, but with the cooperation and concern of all the writing team, Kaya. Thank you, sir. Um, According to Sir Raimondo Jimena, thank you so much, Ma'am Gemma, for the enlightenment. And um, good morning, Ma'am Grace Herbas Balagot, watching from Dubai National High School, Agusan del Norte Division. Um, I would like also to encourage the participants here in our Google Meet. Um, you, while waiting for Ma'am Gemma, you can unmute your microphone and uh, say pers uh, personally your insights about the topic of Ma'am Gemma. Thank you. Pangayo kayo na number nyo rin. Limit lang, kakan siguro nato kasi siya kakaniza. Um, I would like to greet all the viewers watching from Shargal, especially to... Ah, yes, to Ma'am M. Sarapas. Yes, Ma'am Gemma is already here. Sorry, I was disconnected. Uh, I was speaking alone. I keep talking, but then again, I did not notice. I didn't notice anything. I didn't notice Rabi pa na ako taro na show-show ng ako, mga attachment. Yes, po, ma'am. I, I was reading all the comments po, the, their insights po, and you can just um, read some of the appreciation posts throughout our happy life and also in our Google Meet. Can I ask a Yes, po, ma'am. Can I ask another question, po, ma'am? Did I able to answer the what the last question that was raised the way I was asked before I was disconnected? And hindi po na kompleto, ma'am. Okay. I was showing that see the the third part, third part content was it shown? Yes, po. Pero nakata po siya, ma'am. Um, I know. Hindi na tanong kung naliwanagan siya. Kasi for me, it will create another ano na good stages or phases if that the region will create a committee focusing on the IPR alone because uh, IPR is form part of the development process pa. 
kung alam mo namang copyrighted yung material, yung content na kinopya mo, no need na. At ikaw naman na evaluator, alam mo naman na proper, uh, copyrighted yung material na nandyan, yung content, tapos walang attribution, hindi mo na ito further evaluate yan. So, ganun lang kasimple. So, wag natin pahirapan ang mga sarili natin. Ngayon, si, si ang gagawin kasi ng mga teachers natin, syempre, is only to make sure to develop original work. However, in instances talaga na need nila ng articles na galing sa ibang school publication, ibang ano, simply ask permission that you are going to utilize the articles uh, published in their publication in your learning resources. You, you can use the proof forma and make it sure that the proof forma was signed by the copyright owner. Who is the copyright owner? If a certain publication is coming from that particular school, it is the school head. Surely, lang niyo kayo na sir. Sir, ma, na allowing you to utilize na the content of that particular school publication, not anymore the writer of that of that particular article. It's the school head. Then, mag reopen. Ganon lang po. Reopening. Oh, re okay, thank you po, ma'am. Another question po. Oh, what as uh, from Sir Raymond Gohimena? What assistance po the C O R O or, or S T O in case a writer faces copyright infringement case, which he or she unintentionally does due to the lapses of all concerned in making S L M S L K etc. Nako ang mananagot talaga dito is content evaluator. Kasi the content evaluator will make sure that the content is free from uh, copyright issues. That is why merong paper mahal si content evaluator. Yung content evaluation tool, part of that content evaluation tool is an indicator saying, stating that this material could be free from copyright issues. And it is a product of original work. However, if hindi talaga maluwasan, you have third-party content, yun na yun. Papasok sa doon sa inventory of third-party material, content material, isusulat na ni writer, and of course, will be attaching pro forma of permission to copy. Yun na yun. Para talaga hindi natin maanuhan yung infringement issue maiwasan natin. As much as possible, uh, let us be clever in determining whether the source is copyrighted or whether the source is uh, for public use uh, under creative common licenses and only attribution is needed. Yun lang. Uh, you should be uh, clever enough. To, to to assess to evaluate the, the sources of your material of your contents. Okay, thank you, Puma. Another question. Oh, I think it's just uh, Sir James. Yeah, I just want to affirm for Mom's statement. Oh, Notwithstanding the doubtful reputation <laughs> of the daily literature that we read, to free ourselves from any guilt of plagiarism, we must identify in our SLK the owners of any idea, word, symbol that we borrowed verbatimly. Oh, the title of the essay is proper citation uh, a proper form of citation form means mo application for bank account to reopen pero sa content daw is reactive uh, sort of literary work something like that uh, you can cite the whole person uh, and also the articles itself the title of the articles where it was taken the date it was published something like that so hindi lang enough yung pangalan talaga ng tao yung pangalik talaga yan sa published articles yung pagawin yung TVP you, you cite it properly Complete. Thank you, Mama. As a result, kapag yung ano niya na kailangan talaga proper attribution, yun lang naman. Okay. Um, as a response po, ma'am, from your answer po kanina, according to Sir Raimundo Jimena, Kuyaw Di Ay ang content evaluator. Thank you so much, ma'am Gemma. Um, yes, because we need a content evaluator that the, the, the task, the responsibility of the huge task, task is uh, assigned to you. How are you going to secure this material is an original work of the writer. So it is in you, it lies in you. 
because it is part of your evaluation tool to, to assess, to check whether this material is really authentic, original, or if not, if there is the uh, third party contingency, it should be uh, properly attributed. No? Okay, thank you, Paul. Um, I think we don't have any more questions. I will just um read some of the appreciation posts from Ma'am Leia Montaos. Thank you so much, Ma'am Gems. Indeed, it was vividly discussed. God bless you. And from um, Ma'am Donna Bell Intad, she is watching from Agusan del Norte. Thank you very much, Paul, for the clarity of the discussion. Yes, and thank you also for listening. No? It was a pleasure again. It is my pleasure serving you, my fellow Karaganons of this endeavor of the regional office. Actually, this is timely because some of our writers have this fear no, to develop a learning material because they sila sa mga ITR issue, takot sila sa mga entrenchment cases. But then again, walang dapat ikatakot. Kung ikaw mismo, alam mo namang gawa mo yan. At kung alam mo naman, nagbibigay ka ng proper attribution. At kung alam mo naman na hindi copyrighted material yan. No? Pero kung alam mo kung copyrighted at walang permission, huwag mo nang ipilit. Huwag natin ilagay ang mga sarili natin sa alanganin. At lalong lalo na, huwag natin ilagay ang ating mga content evaluator sa alanganin din. No? Kasi tayo mismo as developer, alam natin saan natin kunuha yung material. Yun na nga, diniscuss ko na nga kanina. No? Alam nyo yan. Then all you have to do is to properly attribute. And if you think this material is not enough, attribution is not enough because it does not belong to creative commons or public domain, you do not force using it without proper permission. Let's make things complicated, simple. No? I hope I was able to give you an insight and advice that will help you in your journey as you develop the self-learning kit. We are here to help you. We are here to help you, actually. Yes, pa hindi ka sarili niyo. Yes, yes. According to Ma'am Jennifer, again, Ma'am, I would like uh, I would like to repeat her comment po. Ma'am Gemma, you truly are the pride of Atlantic City Division. Congratulations. And according to Sir Jemson, we must be judicious in quoting words. Thanks to Ma'am Gemma. From Ma'am Lea Montaos, from Division of Kusan to Norte, it was a nice topic talking about legalities in authorship. Thank you again. And, yeah. and from uh, lastly from Mam Fedizon, Mam Gemma, you're always the best. Love, love from the from Fedizon of Nep and Agusan del Norte. I thank you, thank you, thank you. At and least little effort has given you that. I know. Please, you are no. Thank you. Yes, for Mam. So I think everything is clear and everything is already is also answered by our resource speakers. So this time. Um, to show our gratitude and appreciation to Ma'am Gemma's time and expertise, I would like to um, award, or the Deped Karaga would like to award this certificate of commendation, um, Sir J. Mark. And yes, thank you, Paul. Um, a Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Caraga Region, Certificate of Commendation is given to Dr. Gemma B. Espadero for sharing her time and expertise as resource speaker during the regional webinar on the development of self-learning kits for the special program in journalism held on July 6 to 8, 2021 via Google Meet. Given this eighth day of July 2021, signed Dr. Evelyn R. Fidelbero, Regional Director. How about a virtual applause to our brilliant resource speaker, Dr. Gemma Espadero. Thank you so much. Thank you also. Thank you. Thank you. R.D. Fidelbero, uh, Dr. Gladys Assis for the trust and also to the rest of the training management team. Of course, thank you so much. I will always be your public servant. You are welcome. <laughs>
Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Gemma Espadero, my friend, who is always very supportive no, in this endeavor. Kasi uh, ano rin siya, division is PJ coordinator and of course, uh, education program supervisor in charge in Jerusalem. Very, very big talaga yung part, Ma'am Gemma. And then, for the participants, okay, let me remind you that the activities being presented activity, no? Well, orient and give you knowledge and guide you on how to do things, no? Clearly and accurately. Okay, we are here to help you. That is why we conducted this uh, trade day orientation prior to the development and quality assurance of your SLKs because. Uh, we equip you in doing so, you will be on the right track para hindi kayo mga nga pa sa dilim ba na ano ba yung gagawin namin? Hindi man lang kami na uyin, hindi man lang kami nabigyan ng mga tips, ng mga guide on how to do uh, the development of this case. That is why um, as much as possible, apply all of the things that you have learned from this uh, trade day webinar. Okay, because if you are going to apply what you have learned, then the nitty gritty on the intellectual property rights na mga kadramahan will not be a problem to you. That is why nandito tayo para sa right start pa lang, Okay na kayo. Hindi na siya problematic. Pati si content uh, editor, hindi na rin magpo-problema because of the fact na si development team, we are starting right. Okay? So, wala tayong magiging problema yan, my dear participants. All you have to do is to apply what you have learned from the topics no? that you have heard, from the topics that na present sa inyo, then it wala tayong problema, you will be on the right track. Okay? So I guess our morning session is already done. And then, second se uh, last session natin this afternoon for the SLK designing. So I hope that you still have the energy. At saka, hindi masyadong mabigat yung webinar natin yeah. because yung time natin, may mga yung breaks din tayo. And tomorrow pa naman ang inyong start sa pag-develop ng SLK. So, I hope that you are clarified and just in case that there are still things that you would like to be enlightened, uh, all you have to do is to uh, address those concerns to your SPJ coordinator and then we are going to address that one uh, in the RO level. So thank you very much no, for being active in the FB live streaming and also in our uh, platform. So I hope that you are already equipped. Although, hindi talaga upo na Ma'am, yes, ma yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I permission to speak. I have an update. Yes, ma'am. Diba, na-raise yata ito somebody. I could not remember. Because if Mamaripas raises this, raise this one, uh, whether we can include photographer in the development team. Yes, ma'am. It was Mamaripas. Okay. okay. Uh, Jason responded to me kasi inutusan ko siya na uh, tanong kay Ma'am Bessie. Kasi Ma'am Bessie is the chief of I know the MR, the ano, qualification so, Okay, sabi niya, based pala doon sa meeting, hi ma'am, based pala doon sa meeting namin last time, may flexibility ang development team sa TUR in terms of reference, yan, TUR, in terms of reference nila. Kaya, pwede in siguro ilagay yung photographer. Kasi nga naman, sa development team, we have terms of reference. Uh, ano ba yung role ni illustrator? Ano yung role ni language editor? Ano yung role ni language evaluator? Role ni content editor? Role ni content evaluator? Something like that. So, because of the terms of reference, kasi malinaw doon ang role ni illustrator na tagaguhit lang talaga siya, taga-illustrate taga siya, taga yung silly out artist naman layout lang talaga. So maybe we can have a photographer as the one who would take a digital post. So it is up 
to the mm -hmm. ano, development team. If you have TOR in your development team, then you can add photographer wala. I forgot that na pala naman, that we have terms of reference. Kung baga meron tayong parameter na bawat isa, our role in the development team of that particular area. So, hindi na mahiliya si photographer. Na tama naman yung ni-raise ni Ma'am Ching na uh, hindi din basta-basta ang effort ng isang photographer. Imagine, i-raise mo yung sarili mo, pupunta ka dun, bukaha ka ng picture, magpapaalam ka sa kukuha na yung picture, magpapapirma ka ng photo release form. You know, in this time of pandemic, it's an effort to be considered. Okay po? Na-answer ko ba yung ating ano, yung query with the photographer as part of the given part of the development. Natapos na ka? Depending on the process. Dapat maging now sa team war, you have your terms of reference in your development team. Okay, so far, yung mga photographers, hindi siya included ba in your ipamel mo? Mayroon na pa tayong terms of reference. I remember when we develop or when we crafted our handbook in visual arts management, lahat kami doon as development team, may mga terms of reference kami. Ako, ano yung role ko, si Jason, ano yung role niya, kasi magkasama kami sa handbook na yun. Kami yung team talaga from development phase up to ay, dari ma'am. Up to the finalization. Kami talaga yung sabi sa arts management. So we can also create um, one. Maybe um, Mama Gladys is up to the training management team to develop the TOR of every development team. May loon ni. So, uh, we have the freedom to add the money. May loon ni. The photographer, the slash videographer, whatever. Because this is a special program ma for journalism of uh, God. So we have a video of photo join and video something. Oh, please. Oh, para. Yes po ma'am. Thank you very much po ma'am. Nay, makapasnap na dyan ko sa ako o Ron kay Jay Clip. Ma'am Glad, I'm not sure. No more Lindley. Okay. So, yes, I'm the Lindley Pagkasekretary Treasurer. This morning session. Kay Waisu, ito nga to, Waisu, yun, si yun ang puan. Ang Mary Joy Oliverio statement. Ang treasurer. She said, if we want to end it right, start it right. Thank you, Ma'am Gemma. So, that's from Ma'am Mary Joy Oliverio. Tama po. Check. Pareha dyan, oh. Nating brigada na, sir. Ting si yun na. Okay, and so, the time now is 11.37. So, let's have first our lunch break. And we will be back before 1.30 this afternoon. So, thank you very much. Happy eating, everyone. And I will also request the participants in our Google Meet before Ma'am Gemma will end the meeting. Um, be out. So let's have first you know, to please view your camera. Makas na to sa amo. Mag-create ba kita ng terms of reference ng bawat development team para maka-insert kita ng photographer? Abang na mag-speech ay mag-speech ni Ma'am Ching. Maybe hindi na nagpupunjoon matungkod ang mga kung 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 are you ready? So, say cheese. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Thank you very much for having me, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Ay, thank you, Ma'am Ching. Ay, ay, laban lang din kita ni Ilar. Saluyo sa... Dapat siya'y bayaran ng PTA na mo, Juti, ni Raha. Pinakatawagin ni Ma'am Judith. Ay, ay, pinmanik din ako kung man minsingit. Oo, wait. Si Jeffy C. na nagkasikas to. Wait to, wait to nga to. Listen bang good na siya sa pamilya, Brihan? Actually, ha, Okay, Jim, magbayad sa senior high. Gigi po gusto ko man. Ako nanwala sa 
conform sa standards na. Diretso lang. Taglaan ko, taglaan si Sir Ingrid. Ay, grabe sir. Dapat ito na rin. Dato ko, di nila piti. Bayaran nila. Dato ko, di nila piti. 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 Dato Pwede ko man dyan dyan, may expect dyan dyan kita na may mubayad. Pareha dyan ko man, August, hamok dyan na mubayad kay Ting Brigada, man. Modern language. Hindi, ano naman mo. Oo, oo. 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 Mother language. Ang ganyan, what's the deal? Amo yung shoutout sa pag-sign ng mga basta language. Pero sayang ganyan yung white collection. Last year, 2019, pinarap ang ganyan yung white collection. Break it up out. Break it up out. Kasi mo na hinaglito. Uy, James! Congrats! Wala man, na-stop man ang collection last year kayo yung mga yun nakasakot. So, expect kita na way at yung tri-quarta. Kung man, kayo mula may mga maka... Hindi naman kung restricted ang panaw. So, makasuyod so yun naman. Jari ako sa lamiyahan. Fairness mo, ha? I like the Kuan style. I love it. The voice, the wind. Si Adonis, ato? Ha? Sa? Si Romeo! Tagap! Mahala si Gigo. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless everyone. God bless. Si Sarmera? Ini. Ah, si Benji? Iba na, kahit ito na ikuan, ito na ba, pinagawas ni Kulong Kulimao, ang tawagan ko, pagawas ko na siya.